What's going on you beautiful people? Welcome back. So in the last video I promised you that I'd be doing a quick unboxing and telling you my thoughts on my new computer. This is the MacBook Pro 2016 version. It's got the four USB Type-C uh, Thunder, Thunderbolt 3 ports, but they're USB Type-C's. You can call them either or. I got the two terabyte flash storage with 16 gigs of RAM and the force touch bar. Basically, I got this thing completely loaded out. As much as you can put in here, I did. So, I'm finally gonna open it. And if you did watch the last video, you saw that I got a bunch of accessories for it as well. I'll be going over those later on, but first, let's open this up and pull out a special knife, just for this occasion. First cut. it is oh my god this is like this is like barely any heavier than my MacBook Air this thing is lighter all right it's not lighter but it's like maybe this much heavier than my MacBook Air I have the 13 inch MacBook Air. This is a 15 inch MacBook Pro and it is way lighter than I expected. All right. Wow. Like, honestly, the camera doesn't do it justice at all. This color, this is the space gray. I'm in love with it. Now, I had my doubts about getting the space gray because, like I said, I bought this as soon as the Apple Store opened and released these. So I made a very hasty decision on what color to get, whether to spec it out fully or not, and I just jumped on this because I knew this was the newest color. But as I was waiting and waiting for it and I saw all these other people were getting these in the space gray, I was like, man, I should have got it in gold. I feel like it would have set it apart from everybody else's, but honestly, I'm not disappointed at all. This is just a beautiful color. Now I'm finally gonna open it up. I'll let you guys see this. And it just turns on by itself. That is awesome. This trackpad. This is my hand. This is my hand covering the trackpad. My entire hand almost fits on this thing. This thing is huge. I mean, look at it. That is cool. You got the dual stereo speakers and this touch bar. Ooh, that feels cool. I thought it'd be a lot like softer, but it's kind of like what the screen on your iPhone's made out of. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna. I gave you my initial thoughts. I'm in love with it already. I haven't even gotten to use it yet, but I'm gonna get it all set up. I'm gonna download my Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna test out all my accessories, and then. I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on the keypad, the touchpad, basically everything. I'm gonna do that all throughout the night. After work tomorrow, I'm gonna finish this video, but you're not gonna have to wait because it's literally gonna start now. All right, what's going on guys? So I've spent an entire day with this guy. He's in here now. He's got his little home. I spent a whole day playing with the MacBook Pro, getting it all set up, uh, downloading my Final Cut Pro, 
That's the editing software that I use to make this video and all my other ones, and I love it. I, I am 100% on board with it. It has its pros and cons, but I'll get into that in a little bit. First, I'm gonna go over some of the accessories and save my first impressions for the end of the video. So as you can see, it's in this uh, little sleeve carrying case thing right here. I picked this up on Amazon. Everything I'm showing you guys is from Amazon, so keep that in mind. I'll put all the links in the description so you can check them out for yourself. But this is just a laptop case. If you don't have the MacBook Pro, but you have a laptop, you can pick this up. I really recommend this one. I've been using it for my MacBook Air, my iPads, just basically anything and everything electronic I can store in here. It has a 180 degree zipper. So it can open up fully. You can use it as like a nice little spot to sit your computer on if you don't want to scratch up the bottom or get it dirty, depending on where you are. So that's kind of a cool little bonus. But on the inside is this nice like felt fabric. It's almost like suede. It's pretty cool. It's very, um, very soft. So it'll keep any of your uh, laptops or tablets or whatever safe from scratches on the outside is a waterproof or water resistant material so if you got your laptop with you in this in your backpack and your backpacks not super watertight and you're outside and it's raining you'll feel pretty safe with it being in here this is a good thing to keep on you even if you're carrying it in a backpack it just it's a secondary way of keeping it safe so you saw the inside now it's got this carry handle. This is made out of leather, so is this. It's made by Lacto, I believe it's called. I'm, I might be pronouncing it wrong. I'm not sure. But it also has this front zipper, and this is where I keep all the extra accessories because, as you know, USB Type-C or lightning port, whatever. I don't know, I mentioned it in the beginning of the video. You're gonna need dongles, adapters, new cables, because as you know, USB Type-C only. Yeah. So, I will first show you that I keep my backup hard drive. This is a Seagate um, 2 terabyte. It's pretty good, it's fairly lightweight. I've actually broken one of these, so they're not really the most durable. I'm saving up to get a better one. I'm really interested in getting the Samsung T3s, those are pretty sweet, but very pricey. So if you have the extra money, I recommend those over this, but if you're looking for a good one on a budget, then this is a pretty good one. Just don't throw it in your bag and expect it to last very long if you're very rough with your stuff. But on the end of this, I have this little adapter. When I first was picking this up, I, wanted it in space gray to match all the other things but they didn't have it in stock for prime shipping so i just went with this rose gold gold color i don't really care that much it works for what it is it's a usb 3.0 to usb type c little adapter and it just lives right on here for my hard drive so that way i never lose it next up is this guy this is a USB Type 3 to USB Type C cord. I kept the little uh, tie on here to keep it nice and neat. I can take that off whenever I need, and it just stores nicely in here. Now, the cool thing about this is it's got the gold plate on both ends, and these cords actually come in color. It's nylon braided, it comes in all types of colors, different lengths. I really like this one. And then you have this one that I was actually able to get in space gray. It's USB 3 to USB-C. It's a 10 foot one. So as a backup, I have a power brick that's USB type three. And as you know, the block is like this big that comes with this guy to charge. So you're able to charge with this all the way across the room if you're at a friend's house and you don't wanna bring that giant brick with you. I have a little backup brick as well. It doesn't charge it as fast, but it's still good enough. 10 feet goes a long way. Also inside, those of you who have iPhones and have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, your cord's not gonna fit into your laptop. 
So I got this nice thin nylon braided cord that's lightning to USB type C. So that way I can charge my phone, sync my phone, do whatever I need that I can't do through Bluetooth. So this comes in handy a lot. I also It also comes with this nice little Velcro thing so you don't have to twist it on and off. It just wraps quickly around it and keeps it nice and neat. Again, if you want any of this stuff, check out the links in the description. I'll leave links to everything. I got everything off Amazon. I am an Amazon addict. I, I buy everything off Amazon. Next up, we have this little guy. I'm just gonna hit on one of the biggest gripes I have with this laptop right now. Do you see anything missing? Other than a USB 3.0? A MacBook Pro is designed for photographers, videographers, basically creators. Most creators use an SD card. Where's the SD card slot? I don't see the sense in taking that out. So, that is just the biggest gripe that I have with it. Is it the biggest deal in the world? No. But now I had to buy one of these. Does this work great? Yeah. But it's just one more step that I have to take. And that's why having this case is a huge lifesaver because now I never have to worry about leaving this behind because it just lives in this case. So what this is, is a SD slot and a micro SD slot that you can plug into your MacBook and your MacBook Pro with the USB type C's or a USB type 3. And the cool thing about this one is there's a little button right here and if you get it with your nail and you push up, it has a micro USB for Android phones or whatever. So if you have GoPro footage and you want to check it but your laptop's dead or you don't feel like bringing it out or you want to just send some of the footage to a friend or whatever, you can just plug this into your Android phone and view the footage nice and quickly. That's a pretty good uh, extra little thing that sets this apart from most other little uh, SD card readers. And then finally, we have this guy. I actually have a micro SD in it already. This is a Space Gray USB Type-C 5-in-1 adapter by Sitechi. I believe that's what it's how it's pronounced. So what you have is a USB Type-C, an SD slot, a micro SD slot, and two USB Type-3 slots. This is probably the one thing that I recommend the most if you have the new 2016 MacBook 12 inch or any of the new MacBook Pros. This thing is going to be a lifesaver. You need adapters. Now that this is empty, I'll show you a quick little peek inside. It's got one big pocket over here, one big pocket over here, and three little slots for pens and then just a deeper pocket in here. So this thing is really awesome. I really like this. It's waterproof, shockproof, kind of. That's what they say in the title. I wouldn't take this and drop it with my MacBook in it, but you get the point. Now, with the final impressions of the MacBook Pro. Now, like I said, I love this thing, but there's two, three, maybe four things that are just wrong with it. One, why does my logo not light up? I was talking to a friend today and we were going back and forth about whether it was a big deal or not about this logo. Does it really matter if it lights up or not? Th that's your opinion. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything for the computer other than a wow factor or a cool factor. But why take away something that was already there? You know what I mean? Just like the headphone jack. But I digress. Point number three. No SD slot. I've already talked about it. I'm annoyed by it, but we have our ways around it. Moving into the computer, the Touch ID, I love it. As you can see, I've already set up my laptop to where I like it. I got my Iron Man background. I've already downloaded my Google Chrome. I got my Final Cut Pro swipe over. And here's my Final Cut Pro. These are the clip for the beginning of this video that you've already watched. Thank you again for staying tuned. Now we're gonna move on to the trackpad. I talked about how big this thing was. It was kind of a concern, but also very cool how big they were able to make this. I like how what they did now is there's like a two touch 
where you can press down once lightly or you can have a force touch, kind of like the 3D touch on the iPhones. The keyboard, some people don't like it, how they have the new butterfly keys, they're a lot flatter, they have a much lower profile. They've actually made some of these keys bigger so there's less space in between. I don't have a problem with it at all. I am a big fan of it. It's very comfortable right off the bat. Really wasn't that hard to get used to. The touch bar, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. You have your fingerprint scanning for your Apple Pay or to open up the computer. You have Siri right here at all times. Hello, Siri. Hello. You also have your brightness settings that you can change with a slide bar, your volume that you can also change with a slide bar, or you can open up this tab that allows you to play, pause, fast forward, do all that with your music. You can light up your keys. You can bring up the, uh, the launch pad. You can open up all of your windows screen brightness, exit out, escape, everything's on there that you would need from your F1 keys that are no longer there. Now if you can tell when I open up Final Cut, it changes a little. You have your jump to start, jump to end, you can clear the section, there's just all these different tools that you now have to help you edit a lot faster make everything a lot more accessible. So there you guys have it. That's my overall first impressions of the new 2016 MacBook Pro 15 inch with the touch bar. I'm a fan, I'm annoyed with the SD slot, but I digress. It's still an amazing, great product that I am very happy to have. Unfortunately, I needed all of these accessories but that's okay, I'm a gadget geek and I really didn't mind spending the money on those. Buying all of these different new products didn't really bother me. They were very affordable and well-priced. So again, if you are interested in checking any of them out, the link's down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different from the vlogs, but I'll be putting out a new vlog very soon, so don't worry about that. I'm not gonna jump into tech reviews or anything like that. This was just a special day for me to finally get my new MacBook Pro and show you guys some of the accessories that I got for it. So if you enjoyed, hit that like button, share it with your friends if any of them are interested in getting one of these, even if it's the 13 inch or just the MacBook uh, 12 inch. Hopefully they'll appreciate my opinion. Maybe we'll share some of the opinions. If you want to continue this conversation with me, just comment down below, share your thoughts with me. Until next time, guys, stay beautiful.